How's it going everyone? Welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna watch Naruto Shippuden episode 249. Last episode, Minato whooped Madara's butt. That was completely unexpected. Um, this whole time we've just had this image of Madara as the strongest guy in Naruto um, based on these past couple episodes, but damn, Minato, the yellow flash <laughs> is no joke. Come chat about anime on our Discord, and if you're interested in live reactions, make sure to follow us on Twitch. Both will be linked in the description below. If you like our full and current reaction to this Naruto Shippuden episode, and get a few weeks ahead of the YouTube videos, make sure to check out our Patreon, the link is also down in the description below. Now on to the anime, Ikimashou. He's still destroying. Holy crap. <gasps> oh no! Oh shit! That's, oh shit! That's how his parents died. I totally forgot his parents died mm -hmm. from Naito's. Does he look younger too? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy crap. What the frick? It has that much power. Oh my god, just one swipe. It's basically a suicide mm -hmm. if you go in. <gasps> Yo, that's where his dad died. Is that us? Oh my god. Oh shit! <laughs> Hell yeah. That's so awesome. Teleported. Oh no. Holy crap, I'm surprised he was able to do that. Holy oh, he, shit. Oh, he took her to. Oh no. He took it to her. Because there was nowhere else. Yeah. You can revive the Nine Tails? What the hell? Oh, 
しないで私は嬉しいのあなたも愛されてるそれに今日はこの子の誕生日なんだから何よりもし私が生きてて家族3人で暮らしてる未来を想像したら幸せだってこと以外想像できないだも心残りがあるとすれば大きくなってなるとは見てみたかったなクシッ君がキュービと一緒に侵入する必要はないその残り少ないチャクラはナルトとの再会のために使う君の残りのチャクラを全てナルトに封印するハッケ封印に組み込んでねそしてキュービは俺が道連れにする人中力でない俺ができる封印術は四季封じんだ俺と一緒にキュービを半分だけ永久に封印できるだからキュービをもう半分はもしかしたらお前が予言の子なのかもしれんなえ何がですこの先忍びの世界はおそらく大変なことになるその時の救世主はその予言の子だ He's interesting now, too. I'm going to go to the house. 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 そう確信したんだミナトでも<笑> Holy shit, he did it so quickly. I don't think the Hokage could have done anything. Yo, it pierced their own. It pierced both of them.
Yes, sir. ゲロトラ、お前に封印式の鍵を渡せ。その後すぐにジライア先生を喰い入りしてくれ。好き嫌いしないで一杯食べて大きくなりますよ。お風呂にはないのちゃんと入って温まること。夜更かししないで一杯塗ることそれからお友達を作りなさいたくさんじゃなくていいから本当に信頼できるお友達それよりは。お母さんが苦手だって勉強や忍術をしっかりやりなさい。お給料作ってもやる気もあるのだだからあ
it's just like their characters, right? Minato and Kushina both are so selfless. And that's why Naruto takes after them. Like, how can a whole family be so freaking wholesome? I, I can't. It just breaks me every time I think about how they, how happy they would have been together. Mm-hmm. And when Kushina was talking to him and like saying every single thing, like she was going through each step mm-hmm. of like how it would have been like if she was there with Naruto because mm-hmm. she had to say goodbye, right? She's not gonna be there for mm-hmm. him during those times. And she was just thinking about each moment and saying something for each moment and then ugh, realizing that she doesn't want to go, she doesn't want to leave. Like, mm-hmm. fuck, that was so sad. And just her conversation with Minato, like, asking why why does it have to be naruto like why do we have to do this for naruto like honestly speaking that's what most people would be thinking yeah. is just thinking about themselves like why do we have to go through this mm-hmm. for others and then minato's answer to that man he just he wants to protect everybody mm-hmm. like even if they manage to protect naruto if they can't protect the village then it's meaningless he acknowledges that yeah like we already know what happens with um naruto's parents but for them to play the whole story yeah. it's just it's just different like, it- all this all this stuff happened but we never realized it um it's, it, it just adds to it how messed up it is after um Kushina and Minato sacrificed their lives for Naruto and the whole village just freaking hates Naruto after this. Yeah. Like this Oh man, that's and just then messed Naruto up. Was like, See, this is love. Yeah. Fuck that was that's I think, me and the Kokoro. Yeah. I think that's how he beat the Nine Tail Fox, the hatred. It's cause his the love that he feels is overpowers yeah. the hate. Like and that interaction? between them, Mm -hmm. Kushina and Minato, all I felt was just love between them. Mm -hmm. Their relationship was just insane. Goals right there, I'm just saying. I know. Wow. They were such a sweet couple, my god. It's like the whole time you think what could have happened if they were alive. Naruto would have been such a happy kid. Exactly. Their personalities, they were just really positive and outgoing. Like, mm-hmm. even despite, yeah, all the hardships that they've been through, Kushina being the Jin Cherokee, having to go through all these extra steps just mm-hmm. to kind of give birth to Naruto, like, not even being able to talk to her friends about her, birth, her um, pregnancy, not being able to talk to anybody about, about her pregnancy. Mm-hmm. And them still being so happy about their situation yeah. and so grateful for what they have like holy shit that was just so wholesome yeah they're making the best out of their situation yeah um, and staying positive <sighs> i just man I this, this, this backstory yo was that so sad. <sighs> and the third hokage and no one else could do anything right because the barriers up. yeah like they couldn't even stop them if they wanted to i'm like i'm <sighs> third hokage had something he was planning Plus he, he needed to get the jutsu ready. I wonder what he was going to do. Because he didn't have a say in it, right? He just... Four for God just took the Ninetale Fox and just teleported. And then here, like the part where... She's kind of expecting Naruto mm-hmm. to show some kind of anger towards her. Like, that yeah. would be normal, right? Mm-hmm. Like, why did you do that? Why did you leave me alone? I feel like that's kind of what most people would be thinking in this situation. It's yep. like... Why did you leave me? Like, why, why did you, you do, do that? Yeah. Right? Because they're the ones that chose to do this. Mm-hmm. So, it's. I think it would have been normal for Naruto to kind of blame them in a way. But mm-hmm. the thing is, he just says, like, I never held it against you. Like, mm-hmm. fuck. And then that just adds to their family even more. Because it's yeah. like, all of them, like, Minato and Kushina were like that. And now their son as well just took after them. Their yeah. selfless personality. Which is fucking. Ugh. I it's mean, beautiful, that, I can't. I mean, that last bit, Kashina realized that how Naruto ended up. Like, like Naruto grew up to the person they wanted him to be. Exactly. Like, yeah, she probably just bit. feels so full. That's why she was able to, like, pass after him saying all this, right? Because she finally got to see the kind of person he grew to be. Mm-hmm. 
It's gonna come next episode. Just gonna come back to the reality, and then that's it. Why are they so? This so, was like I, I literally. Oh my god! This is the closure that Naruto needed. But that's that's always been like his um the emphasis for his past has is always been because he's been alone, right, mm-hmm. without his parents, without yeah. ever feeling that parental love, right. Mm-hmm. And finally meeting his parents and acknowledging that his whole being has always just been because of them, that love. He thought it was missing, but it was always there with him. He just didn't even know about it. Mm-hmm. Like you said, it just sucks to see how Naruto is treated. Mm-hmm. After, especially after seeing like the suffering that this family had to go yeah. through for the village. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I understand that you guys are scared of... The nine tail fox, right? Yeah. But Naruto is Naruto. It's, you know what I mean. That's the thing. It's it just took, they it treated took Naruto him as... so long to prove to the villagers mm-hmm. that he is Naruto, not the nine tail fox, mm-hmm. not the, not someone you sh- should need to be scared of. Um, it's just that's a that's just a shitty thing, right? Is that the villagers don't get this kind of scene yeah. right so for them all they know is just that the fear nine tail foxes in naruto that's yeah. it right they don't get to see the sacrifice the suffering that they had to go through in order for them to be able to live in peace yeah they don't think they don't look at naruto and think oh the fourth hokage and um his, his wife sacrificed their lives so the village you know mm-hmm. can exist when they look at naruto but no they look at naruto like oh nine tail fox Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. It really helps the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace.